We recognise that a number of people have explained what they do in terms of climate change mitigation in a number of different ways over time. What we felt was very necessary was to bring everything together in one consolidated standard, credible to business, credible to consumers and other stakeholders. In the past we've all um, said what we did, uh, we've come up with figures to say how we did it, but they were not necessarily all the same figures and you couldn't say, you know, eggs are eggs. Now you can. For the first time we've got something which is a real definitive stamp of approval for organisations that are taking action themselves. It represents a real step up in the bar. This isn't about pledging for the future, it isn't about saying what you'll do next year, it's about actually being able to prove the work that you've done to reduce your emissions over the last two or three years. The Carbon Trust Standard gives us an independent endorsement of our approach to reducing carbon emissions. It's important that as well as there being sustainability initiatives, that those initiatives do lead directly to a reduction in carbon. Rather than just uh, aspirations or you know, plant a tree, you know, burn as much energy as you like and plant a few trees, it actually rewards real savings. It's not just about big business, it's about any organisation being able to show that it takes action. We all answer the questions on a level playing field. All sectors can make a contribution to reducing their carbon footprint. Over two thirds of uh, consumers actually want to do business with organisations that have a low carbon footprint. Employees in particular like working for companies that take uh, environmental issues seriously, but people like buying products from people who do that as well. They're interested in more than just the metric, they want to see something positive happening. If you came to the site four years ago, you would have seen steam billing around the building. Uh, now you don't see that at all. The store has no air conditioning. We make use of natural ventilation. We've got natural sunlighting coming through, which is a great energy savings and really has reduced our carbon emissions. These are some of the panels we've installed across several of our fire stations, which have helped cut our carbon emissions by 17% since 1990. This particular photovoltaic roof was installed in 2006. We've replaced the windows, double glazing, we've replaced the light fittings. We've reintroduced the logic that was actually way back in 1929, where we have area rooms, better lighting, more use of daylight. People are changing the way in which they behave and work in the office. We have about nearly a thousand video conferences a month now, so we reduce the amount of air miles that we fly as an organisation. Just by this one project here, we've actually reduced our carbon emissions by 369 tonnes in a, a year. We're saving 24,000 tonnes of carbon emissions over three years. That clearly reduces our reliance on grid electricity and fossil fuels, which in turn deliver savings to our customers and shareholders. Every time an organisation cuts its carbon emissions, it's saving money. We estimate that we will be saving, at this moment in time, in excess of £2 million pounds a year. Achieving the Carbon Trust Standard is a great independent endorsement of our sustainability programmes. It's going to be wonderful to have a badge that we can put against the company saying, yes, we've done this. Very chuffed for the, for the college. I think it's great news. It's an accolade, really, to the efforts that the college has actually put forward. I think that our guys out on site that have achieved this um, uh, really deserve a pat on the back. Unless we're all conscious of sustainability, there won't be businesses left in a few years. The standard actually keeps us on our toes and keeps us continually improving. It makes you look for new things all the time. We should really congratulate companies who want to embark on this. It shows that that company is really committed to full disclosure, to transparency, to trying to show people what is actually done, not simply through hollow statements and words, but through real measured emission reductions.